How's it everyone? This is Lokahol and in today's video we are going to be making a very interesting chest for Doraemon Doremi aka Champion. The modifiers we're looking for on this are 1% increased attack speed per 25 decks. This comes from Grasping Mail. Then we are going to get elevated dexterity. On top of that we're hoping to get base attack crit and then finally additional curse unveiled percent life and crafted life that's the goal now how do we get there to start off we're gonna try and get our suffixes isolated so we just want this one attack speed per 25 dex mod we can isolate this pretty easily i did off stream go for a yolo anol because the suffixes were full but we can do it like this. Just grab a stack of X. Head over to the crafting bench. Go cannot roll tack modifiers. And now we can only annul modifiers that do not have the attack tag. That per dex mod has the attack tag. So we can safely annul. And that's fine. That's actually fine as is. Then we go for this one. Cannot roll attack mods. Oops, minus one X. There we go. That's also fine. And then over here, same thing. Cannot roll attack mods. Clean off. I actually want to get rid of one of those prefixes. All right. Cool. Done. So the reason I have three is because we are going to go for some recombination action. Next step. Now we need to elevate this percent dexterity and I made sure that if we succeed the elevation, the elevated dex is going to be the only suffix on the item as you can see. So in order to do this, we're going to use an orb of dominance. It's going to remove one of the modifiers and then upgrade the tier of the other. So hopefully we get the dex. We did not on this one here. We got the dex. Great. And you can see it's isolated. And then here we got this one as well. All right, now the next step, which is scary. We want to get this 1% increased attack speed per 25 dex and then the percent dex elevation. And to do that, we're going to use recombinators. But in order to improve our odds, we're going to try and match up some modifiers. So we're going to go fire resistance and fire resistance. So now in our suffix pool, we have four modifiers. Two are doubled. So there's kind of four modifiers, but only three, if that makes sense. This gives us about a 70% chance of success. However, when we recombinate, if it selects the grasping male as the base, there's no way that this elevated dex can be carried across. So we actually only have about a 30 3% chance of success. If we click this button and we see grasping mail, we know that it's an instant fail. So, okay, we got the astral plate. Good. Give us the stuff, Dex. Yay, we got it. Brilliant. Okay. And now you can see the reason I wanted to have isolated suffixes is that now also we have an open suffix. Why do we want an open suffix? Well, we're going to do this. So we're going to go suffixes cannot be changed like this. Easy peasy. Head over to the hoarder crafting bench and we are going to reforge attack. Now this will guarantee base attack crit. Which tier? Hmm, we're going to have to wait and see. So suffixes cannot be changed does not prevent mods from being added. It just prevents what's there from being changed. So we're going to hit Reforge attack. And we got, unfortunately, tier three. Wait, is there a tier? I thought it was just tier two or tier one. Unfortunately, we didn't hit the tier one. If we had hit the tier one, we could have gone for an elevation, but I, uh, I would not risk it. So what is the next step? Next step, we are gonna get additional curse on this. Suffixes cannot be changed head over to the Horde crafting station. And now if you are wondering why I started off with a base with Elder and Hunter influence, it's for this exact reason. If we had just started with Elder, we would not have been able to get additional curse. So 
what we're going to do, suffix is going to be changed, reforge caster, and as you can see, you can apply an additional curse. Beautiful. That is 100% guaranteed. Now, the next step is going to be fun. It's going to be an Ashling. So when we go for this Ashling, it's either going to remove suffixes cannot be changed or additional curse. One or the other. It's a coin flip. Hopefully we don't get screwed. But let's head over to TFT, find ourselves an Ashling, and then continue. Please. We Oh my goodness, we got it. Wow. Thank you. Now, before we unveil, we are going to block a modifier we don't want to unveil. I think we're going to go with this chance to block attack or spell damage has pretty high weight. And now the modifier we're looking to unveil with Jun is 10% increase life, increase mana. Let's hope we get it. We didn't. We did not get it. So now the only way to rectify this is to lock suffixes, reforge caster and try again. So it's a bit sad, but yeah. I mean, personally, I would be pretty stoked with this, but let's just chat to our friend, see if he's happy with this. I cannot Otherwise, we're going to go for another Ashling. He told me the item he wanted, so we're going to go for it. So suffixes cannot be changed. Reforge caster. Oy vey. Yucky. All right, so what we're going to have to do now is reforge keep suffixes. Alrighty, we try again. Suffixes cannot be changed. Reforge caster. And this time we got it. Great. So we're going to go for another. Suffixes cannot be changed. And we go find another Ashling. Ashling. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. <sighs> Let's see. Hey, we got it again. Nice. Alrighty, once again, we're gonna block. Oh my goodness, it doesn't think I have okay. chaos orbs. I have thousands. GGG, please fix block. So we're gonna go for that. And then we're gonna go over to Jun. And we didn't get it again. Free. It's harvest time. Let's go. Got to farm some more Reforge Caster. We go again. Reforge Caster. And that's good. Lock suffixes again. Suffixes cannot be changed. We go for another Ashling. Ah, uh, all right. That's time we lost. That's okay. Luckily, if we fail, we don't need to do another lock suffixes. We can just go straight for another one, just like that. Do another suffixes cannot be changed. Find ourselves another Ashling. Hey, we got it that time. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Now, please, 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 please unveil the right thing. Please, please. Give it to us. Three, two, one. Yay, we got it. Stop it, Jun. Shut up. No. All right. Beautiful. Now we just need to craft on life. Get it to 85 and our chest is done. All that needs doing now is maybe a little bit of a divine and a six link. But here's the chest. Additional curse. 10% life crafted, 85% max life. Then we have elevated decks and we have the 1% increase attack speed per 25 decks and then base attack crit. Beautiful chest. Let's give it a bit of a price check and see. So this one's a bit hard to price check because there's not a whole lot like it, but you can see this one has the percent decks, not elevated, the 1% decks and then crafted 100x. This one, this has tier one base crit, but it doesn't have the additional curse. The dex isn't elevated. These are very nice. It has 
good suffixes. However, you cannot now get additional curse on this because it only has elder influence. Here's one that's similar, additional curse. I don't, yeah, I don't know what this is worth. It's kind of one of a kind. This one's also very nice. 220x, 270, 375, Pineapple Fairy. Hey, Pineapple Fairy, how are you doing? Super cool chest, by the way. Wow, that's great. But, I mean, I, uh, let's see what we spent. So the total cost of this was in the range of about... He gave me 200x, and there is 113 left. However, we do still have these bases. These you can probably sell for 15x each. So... I would say probably this cost about 70x in that kind of range, maybe a bit less, but it's a beautiful chest. Once again, thank you to Doremon Doremi, aka Champion, for this very, very cool craft. This was a lot of fun to figure out and do. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Stay safe, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye bye. Exile, you're making me nervous.